What's going on guys, Bob Roach from RoachTechnology.com here with a pretty quick unboxing for you of the iAudi EasyFlex Car Mount, not one, but two. This is sponsored by iAudi.com, so be sure to check the link out down there in the description. And I asked for this product for review, basically for the sole purpose of doing my vlogs, which you guys, I have to say, you really love the vlog for you know whatever reason, you guys just love hearing me talk while I drive my car. So uh, yeah, I got this so I could do some multiple angles. Uh, mixed in with the Joby, and then I can also use this guy as well for you know two different angles and um, two different experiences, and well, just to get some more content out there for you guys. So here's a quick look around the box. Uh, iAudi Easy Flex Car Mount 2. There's a picture of it right there, as so you can see moving down here. Universal mount, so it fits multiple phones. It's not you know specifically for one you know iPhone 4 or anything like that. Moving over here, go ahead and scan that QR code. I'll go ahead and try to get a little closer here. Go ahead and scan that. I'll probably take it right to the website to learn more about this. Uh, let's see back here. You can see down here it does indeed fold. So if you're transporting it, you don't have to carry this massive thing. It kind of folds, which is always a nice feature. Uh, there's all these other different little features here. Uh, cushion, one touch, trigger button. That sounds kind of like a gun, like a gangster. So uh, I'll go ahead and leave that one alone. <laughs> so uh, 360 degree rotation. So a lot of cool little features about this guy. So I do indeed have my Hackintosh juice knife here to help me. So go ahead and give the video a nice big thumbs up for that. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to kind of cheat here and just do this the easy way because that's just how I kind of prefer to do things. Actually, I don't know if I'll be able to do this the easy way. I might just say whatever and kind of ruin the box, but yeah, so that works. I'm over it. So let's go ahead and get the Hackintosh juice knife off to the side. Just leave it back there being awesome. All right, now farther in, we have, you know, the actual car mount itself in a little Ziploc bag. And then here we have, I guess, some setup instructions or, you know, just like a generic kind of a, a reference guide. So there's that. Very nice color too, very nice quality printed directions, always nice. And then we also have some iAudi Air, so that's also a nice feature. Now, moving further into the box, or ra rather now a bag, go ahead and take the car mount out. And this is also, I believe, a desk mount as well. Uh, it's not just for the car, but it does have a suction cup, but if I wanted to, I could just, you know, put this on my desk back here and then just have the phone, you know, kind of chill there. So it is pretty nice, multifunctional. So go ahead, and this actually is a very um, tight hinge. I will say it's, it's, it feels very nice. Um, go ahead and we'll put that back down like that, and then put it back up. So yeah, it definitely has a really nice feel to it, a really nice hinge. It's not just gonna, you know, like even if I do this, that thing is not moving. You actually do have to apply some force here. So I do have my, uh, you know what? My iPhone 5 is in here, so I was using my iPhone 4S, which, yes, I get so many questions. I am still selling my iPhone 5. Um, actually, I'm surprised I haven't sold it already. I'm just um, waiting on the seller to get the money in order. So to those people that um, are keep, like, I guess, bashing or whatever that I backed out of selling my iPhone 5, I didn't. I am still selling it. And for, if you want to know why, if you're new to my channel, that it's not because I hate the phone or anything. Go ahead and click the video uh, in, in the uh, description down there as to why I'm selling that. But regardless, that's not the point of this video. So here I have the iPhone 4S, which I will be switching back to. As you can see, this side I just discovered actually slides out. So this can fit a very wide phone like that. And as you can see, it does lock into place. And I assume, yes, pushing that center button does release it. Now this side does not move at all. That side does. So what we're going to do is actually we'll go ahead and we'll do that. And then we're going to go ahead and when the phone goes in there, it pushes that little button down. And there we go. So now the iPhone is, you know, in place. And let's go ahead. We'll give it a quick shake. All right. So as you guys can see, I definitely trust this thing. It's not just going to randomly give out. So that's really nice to know. Now let's go ahead and, and there's that 360 degrees that we talked about like that. So, I mean, if you're doing something like a vlog using that front facing camera, you can have it like this, or, you know, maybe if you just want to have, I mean, I wouldn't recommend doing this, but I mean, if maybe the passenger in the car wants to have, you know, just like a Twitter feed or something, go ahead and put it in that orientation or maybe na maps navigation, anything like that. Um, actually, I believe maps navigation works in landscape now, but regardless, um, or even like, like on your desk, if you there, that, that's a better use on your desk. You want to have your Twitter feed, just go ahead and uh, peel this little guy back, use that suction cup and angle it back something like that. And then you can have your Twitter feed on your desk. So that's just a quick uh, unboxing of the iAudi, let's see, what is this now here? The iAudi EasyFlex Car Mount, not one, but two. So thank you guys very much for watching. I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. 
Also, be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com and at RoachTechnology on Twitter. And uh, like I said, also be sure to uh, watch out for my vlog. My next vlog will be featuring this guy. So um, go ahead and I'll put the uh, link in the, to the first vlog down there in the description in case you guys haven't seen it. Uh, I got some pretty good feedback. And I've also got some of the uh, Roach vlog hashtags on Twitter. So I'll be sure to give you guys a shout out in the next vlog, which honestly I'm not quite sure when it'll be because I do have a pretty busy weekend lined up. But um, I'll get that out there as soon as I can. And I guess thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.